Uh, Ross, tonight's uh, concert at Paddington Town Hall marks the end of the road for Danny Cool. You're not going to do a Madame Milber on it, you know the old. No, no, well, we did it once already. Concerts. You've done one already. We, Where? we already broke up once and came back together, and I don't think we could do it again. Uh, look, <laughs> don't want to do it again. Yeah. Anyway. Most breakups, uh, despite the smiles, uh, are quite often traumatic and emotional affairs. Um, have any of you got any. Uh, um, upset feelings at this point of breaking up. Do any of you want to go on and feel uh, really unhappy with the thing that's coming to an end like this? Well, I haven't. I know that. I, I know everybody else hasn't, you know. It's just, we could have sort of continued maybe, but it's sort of, uh, Hannaford was the one who wanted to leave at this particular time. And seeing we just lost one of the other founder members, Wayne Duncan, because he broke his arm. Yes. We thought, oh, well, you know, we might as well call it quit. It's a spiritual uh, crisis that perhaps you found yourself in. I've heard oh, a whisper. No, well, I, I just found, I uh, felt that the band, uh, for me, it just go on and on and on. Yeah. But I just like to like, try something different. You know, there's a few other things I'd like to do. It's also uh, known that you had affiliations with various uh, groupings like the Divine Light Mission in Melbourne. I could talk and talk about it for ages, you know. But, uh, Are you going to get more into that now you've... Uh, with the band. And, I think it's going to make it a lot easier for me, yeah. Not being on the road and stuff, and not be just in the one place, and be easier to kind of just like serve the mission. Yeah, none of you, after all the successes that Daddy Cool have had over the years, and the great love in the Australian audience had for this beautiful band, uh, Ross Hannaford had to have a benefit because uh, one believes he didn't have too much cash in his pocket. <laughs> Only last year, which astounded me. Like now, showbiz, is man. this the story of the hit Australian band, There's No Money In It? Well, we've got incredible overhead expenses just to go on the road to do a tour. Like, to come here to play Sydney, it's not worthwhile unless you stay for at least a week to ten days. And just to keep a band like performing for that long yeah. takes an incredible amount of money. Yeah. But like, you know, I mean, if you... If it's only money, isn't it? You make money and you spend money yeah. and you have a good time. And if Hannah <coughs> puts his rent get $400 behind or whatever it was, and we have a party and people pay a dollar to come in, well, I reckon that's great. I mean, musicians have been doing that since they started playing. Fats Waller used to do it. There's a lot of ups and downs. We're, fortunately, with Daddy Cool, it's mainly been up, and I really enjoyed the last five years. In fact, I think it's quite a feat that we managed to, even though we had a break in the middle, stick it together for five years and remain friends and play good music most of the time. Why do you think this band stayed together so obviously pretty happy most of the time? I, we just get along well and there's no strange scenes thrown by people within the band, you know. It's, you know Are you a dictator at times of this band? I have been, but I'm not now. You're not now? No. You're nevertheless not down and out as a band? No, we're not. No, we're obviously not. by the size of the uh, audience in the hall tonight, oh, you actually, can still pull we're, we're playing houses. much better than we have since we got back together again, I think. You know, I think it's the best it's been since we got back together and it's one of the best editions of Daddy Cool ever.